Ladies and gents, it's Neil here from TFI Cat Tips, and I'm doing a giveaway on the channel, which you obviously know about because you'd have saw the title of the video. But uh, yeah, I'm going to announce that giveaway, and then I'm going to go into some news because there's some big announcements to make about TFI Cat Tips. Stuff. There's some stuff happening over the last couple of weeks, which I need to explain stuff which you know about and some stuff which you don't know about. Um, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, then stick around. So the giveaway, the giveaway is my 3D Connection Space Mouse Pro. So I'm doing this to stimulate a bit of growth in the channel to try and get myself up to the 10,000 subs milestone. So all you've got to do if you want to win the uh, the Space Mouse Pro is make sure you subscribe to TFI CAD Tips, put a comment on this video and hit the like button on this video. And that's all you got to do. That's it. And the reason for the giveaway is that 3D Connection recently sent me over their the Enterprise, the brand new flagship uh, device, which is absolutely amazing. So I've now no, I've just no longer got a need for this one. So it's just sitting around on the desk. I mean, it, it looks pretty sexual sitting on the desk, sort of putting out some vibes, looking pretty good. But it, I prefer that it goes to someone that's going to use it on a daily basis. So that's what I is doing. Right, that's the giveaway. And uh, the news, if you're interested in the news, right, there's some stuff going on. The first thing is that the tech channel that I announced in my last video, I said that I was creating a new tech channel and it would be running side by side with TFI CAD tips. I'm basically scrapping that idea. <laughs> I'm still doing tech content, obviously. That is actually going to be my main focus moving forward. But I'm not going to be putting it on a new channel. And the reason for that is I actually didn't want to make a new channel in the first place because the idea of, or the thought of starting from zero again was making me want to gouge my eyeballs out with a spoon, if I'm honest. It's taken me two and a half years to get this channel up to 7,000 subs and, uh, you know, $150 a month in ad revenue. Woo! So starting from zero again, I was like, oh, I just couldn't face doing it. So um, I thought, you know what, sod it. I'm going to put all the tech stuff on this channel. All the tech stuff that I'm going to be doing, just FYI, is actually going to be relevant to my industry and hopefully your industry so it's all going to be professional tech related stuff so that could be anything from pcs uh workstations graphics cards cpus anything that you could get a benefit from in our line of work even as far as office equipment like chairs uh you've noticed my dx razor chair is gone i've got a story to tell you about that i'm just waiting for the new one to arrive in the mail in there uh, i'll be putting out a little bit of a story about that because there's quite a saga behind that chair <laughs> tell you that for now uh, so yeah, things like chairs, which you can use in your office, key even keyboards, you know, that could help with the, with productivity in CAD or engineering, just anything like that. It's not going to be anything gaming related, right? Anything that's only there that exists purely for gaming, I'm not interested in. Well, I am, but just not on this channel. Uh, so no interest, no plans in doing anything like that. It's going to be entirely tech related, CAD, well, you know, engineering tech related stuff. So that's the first bit of news. Uh, this, right, the next bit of news. This is quite a big one. About three weeks ago, I had an unsolicited approach from somebody who works for an online subscription-based training company. Now, normally I ignore these kind of emails. I get a lot of them. They're usually from like Indian web developers and you know, Chinese app developers, that kind of thing. But this email was was quite well put together. It was very personalized. It, it, it was quite clear that this person had watched my content and they were contacting me on the strength of what they'd seen in my videos. And... Um, the company was called Plural Site. So Plural Site are a subscription-based online training company, kind of like, I'm not sure if they actually like me making this comparison, but they're like lynda.com, which most people on YouTube have heard about because they're quite aggressive with their marketing and their advertising in the, the YouTube space. So you'd have probably heard of lynda.com. Plural Site are like lynda.com, but I guess they're smaller and more enterprise slash business slash corporate focused. Um, but they still obviously sell licenses and subscriptions to end users, home users, individuals as well. So they got in touch with me and they said, look, we like your stuff. We think you're a great teacher. It's like, oh, thanks. And uh, do you want to be a, a, a do you want to talk about being a, a content author on our website? And I was just like, at the time, I was like, do you know what? I've got a lot on. You know, I've already, I'm do, I've got a bit too much on already. Do I really want to get myself involved in something else? But then I, I'd never heard of them, if I'm honest, at the time. So I went to their website, and as soon as I saw their website, I was just like, ah, right, this is actually pretty good. This is the real deal this is. So I got in touch with the with the woman that got in touch with me. Uh, to cut a long story short, we had a lot of discussions over the three weeks and at the start of this week, and I agreed to be a content author on Pluralsight for Inventor Training Material. So what does that mean for the channel? What does that mean for TFI CAD tips? Well, two things really. The first one is that my time is going to be stretched quite significantly. I don't know what it's going to, I don't know how that's going to pan out in the long term. 
by the looks of it, on face value, it's going to take me quite some time to create the courses on Pluralsight. They're different to YouTube courses. Just get this clear, right? I never intended, and I still to this day, do not consider what I've done on TFI Card Tips to be training. It's not. It's me making a video and someone else I've never met listening to me talking. So that's what I do here. This stuff on Pluralsight is essentially training. It's going to be modularized. It's going to be in categories. It's transcripted. It's structured. It's vetted. It's quality controlled. It's proper, legit content. Uh, it's still me doing it. I'm still going to... It's still me. They've contacted me on the strength of the stuff I do on YouTube. I'm not going to change anything about how I deliver online stuff. But it's just going to go through a different quality process before it actually goes live. So uh, it's going to take a long time to do those courses. I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know how much time I need to invest in that. I don't know. I don't know yet. But th there will be now time where I'm not actually working on TFI card tips and I will be on something else. But by all means, go out and check out Pluralsight if it's something that you think you could be interested in. It's something that you've got a need for. I will be doing bigger modules over there on Pluralsight. There's been a lot of people asking me for things like, in you know, how why haven't you done anything on FEA on this channel? Why haven't you done anything on dynamic simulation, tube and pipe. And the reason is I didn't want to. I don't want to blur the lines between training and just basic tips and tricks on YouTube. I haven't worked in a training center for years. I know what training is, and this is not training. Pluralsight is more closely related to training. You can actually get in touch with the authors through Pluralsight if you've subscribe to that level of service there's like a mentorship type thing where you can sort of raise your hand and ask questions so it's it's more interactive than youtube could ever be so a lot of the bigger content which i haven't done over here intentionally is now actually open the, the avenue is now opened up for me to do it on plural site so moving forward on tfi card tips though it's actually a good thing and i don't mean that the dickish way right it means that on tfi card tips i can legitimately now just focus on smaller stuff on the stuff i actually wanted to do here in the first place which is just smaller tips and tricks just niche little things because Pluralsight aren't interested in small topics. They want big, modulized, sort of learning path type content. Whereas YouTube, I can just go, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. It'll take five minutes to do. I'll just do it. Can't really do that over there, but I can do that here. So I'll be doing that kind of stuff continuing on from this point and also the tech stuff, which is going to be actually my main focus uh, as I move forward because I just want to change just change what I do a little bit. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm getting bored, but I just don't want to stagnate in the same thing for too long. So I'm going to mix it up, do the tech stuff and uh, tips and tricks as well for inventor things will still continue on here. Uh, for what does that mean for Patreon? Uh, well, if you haven't seen the Patreon link, it's in the description down below. If I'm being completely honest, uh, the Patreon has been a bit disappointing so far. I'm very, very, very grateful, obviously extremely grateful for everybody that has donated. But overall, the bigger picture, I think um, it's been quite a bit of a failure, uh, which I feel really bad saying that because it's sort of offensive to anyone that has donated. But given that there's been, you know, 600,000 people passed through this channel, you know, the hundred, well, I wouldn't say hundred, but thousands of comments from people saying, you know, you've helped me so much, blah, 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 blah. Um, 7,000 subs. I've had a, about 20 donations <laughs> on Patreon. Uh, and most of the, most of those people sort of donate and then they go back and edit it and just reduce it down, <laughs> sort of half it. Like, all right, thanks. <laughs> but I am thankful to everyone that has donated, but I think overall Patreon has been a bit of a disaster so far. Uh, I'm going to keep it open, though, because there is... Uh, to be honest, I haven't actually promoted it that much. I don't want to be in people's face about it because... YouTube is a, is a free video platform. It is a free sharing platform, so I don't want to make it about money. So um, the, the idea of Patreon is it's a way, f it was originally a way for me to try and take a day or two off work a month and focus on just making videos, so try and sustain that. Um, moving forward, it's going to, if it does grow, if Patreon does increase, I'm going to use that income to sustain uh, the, the, the tech stuff. Buying equipment, the lens that I've just bought now, this new lens that I've got on this camera on the G7, it's, a, it's the Sigma 18-35mm to f1.8 art lens. It is so crispy this lens is so good i've been, i've had the kit, the kit lens on for the camera for the last few weeks and i've been trying to do, i've been trying my absolute damnedest to make the kit lens do what this lens does just out the box it's so good oh i can't wait to finish this video and just play with it it's such a good lens uh, but yeah, buying stuff like that. I've got my tripod, I've got my fluid head, I've got my lens now, I've got my camera, 4K uh, Panasonic G7. I've got my microphone, I've got all that kind of stuff. I just need a bit more better lighting and uh, some other props and whatnot. Uh, and then the Patreon just helps with that kind of thing, which you need to be a professional tech channel. 
So um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I'm going with it. And so I'm going to leave Patreon open. Thanks to everyone that's donated so far. Uh, like I said, in the, in the, in overall, I don't want to sound ungrateful because I'm genuinely hugely grateful to everyone that has donated. But I think overall, the bigger picture, it has been a bit of a disappointment and a bit of a failure. So, and I'm not going to lie as well. Like the the this, the the poor uptake on the Patreon, it kind of did help with the move of going across to Pluralsight because I'm going to be rewarded, obviously, financially for doing videos on Pluralsight. That goes without saying. So um, anyone that's like, oh, you're a sellout, you're a sellout. Well, you just don't. <laughs> Everything on YouTube is being free of charge. And Pluralsight is actually a career move for me. It's a, it's a CV-worthy thing. It's a personal progression. I'm now an author on a global subscription-based training company. So it's that's a career move for me i do get paid for it i'm absolutely fine with that i am absolutely fine with that um and uh yeah the the patreon was a way of trying to make the time that i spend doing online videos uh justifiable because it takes up especially when you've got a date well if your day job is just youtube and that's all you do then you kind of kind of can't can't complain but when you've got a day job sort of a nine or five and you're doing this at the same time then your life just pretty much <laughs> you haven't got a life essentially but anyway uh, right, so that's it. I'm going to wrap that up there, guys. Thank you very much for following this through to the 12-minute mark. That's quite a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. So the giveaway, 10,000 subs. When the channel hits 10,000 subs, that's when that's when the trigger will be uh, pulled for doing the giveaway. So thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video, or I'll see you over on Plural site if you go over there, because that's where my big stuff's going to be, like I said. So uh, I'll see you in a bit.